Hey everyone, Old Man Pete here. I really look forward to doing these Letterman ones. I love to laugh. <laughs> they don't get a lot of views on my channel, these Letterman ones, but I still want to do them because I just think it's, they're just very funny. I enjoy doing them. And the few that do watch them, I hope you enjoy it as well. So I'm going to keep doing them. Let's get into the next batch, shall we? <laughs> That's what Dave used to say. All right, here we go. Gentlemen, if I can be serious here for a second, if you're like me, you're six to 175 pounds and afraid of cats. <laughs> and you also spend a lot of time wondering about your past lives. Recently, my curiosity got the better of me, so earlier this week, I paid a visit to a past life expert to help me get in touch past with lives. the earlier Daves. <laughs> you're going to help me find out about past lives? This is a journey that we take between us, you and I. You know what I suggest to, to anybody who's taking a, a long journey? What? Plenty of Cheetos for the car. Would you like now to hit me as hard as you can in the stomach? Go ahead. Go I ahead, Sonny. I wouldn't Come like on, to. go ahead. Just I, wind up and let it go. Come on, like poof me. Here we go. What is this, on the count what of three. is this for? Knock me out. Here we go, Sonny. What I would like for you to do is lie down here, mm -hmm. for you to relax. Oh, okay. I haven't relaxed since I was 11. Oh, Sonny, oh, <laughs> man, I have that chronic lower back thing. Do you have any Dones pills? I do massage also, but we don't have time yeah, for that. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Turn off the camera, boys. All right, I'll tell you the psychic impressions I had about right, you before I came, and that right. was that you believed that you were some sort of animal, especially perhaps a dog in a former mm -hmm. life, and that if we could get to that, you would mm -hmm. be very happy about that. And that if I could get you barking, that would even be better. That's it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Mm, I'm getting a vision. I'm getting something. Now, should I be getting something this soon or not? If you if you like, you can tell me what it is. By the way, how much is the price? 175. Yeah, I think I paid Dollars. you in I paid you in a previous lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> you, you heard that a lot? Is that a joke you hear? No. Yeah, never. go back to sleep. So normally what we would do is we would talk about in this moment, perhaps where you live, what your house is like. Mm -hmm. You're not planning on coming up there, are you? Okay, this is what we could do. We might try this. Um, Can you make me float? I don't know. We'll see. You don't happen to have a thigh master here, do you? Uh -huh. What can you tell me of your past lives? Well, <clears throat> I remembered about 14 of them. Did you ever uh, have a catering company? No. What you could do, I'm thinking, in, in one lifetime, take out a huge amount of life insurance as much as you can get, millions and millions of dollars of life insurance, and then... Leave it to yourself. Leave it to yourself in a, in a future lifetime. Yes. Would that work? What would be the paperwork on something like that? Yeah, it's being done. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Wow. All right, if, if we could go back to 1860, what country do you see yourself in? I'm out in the, looks like the West, like the Sierra Nevadas, the high country, the big, huge, beautiful pine trees and snow-capped mountains and deep blue, lovely glacial lakes. And I have a, a, a father and a big fat brother and a Chinese cook. And I, I think she's getting angry at him because he's making fun of her. A, a father and a big fat brother and a Chinese <laughs> cook. And I think that was an episode of Bonanza. <laughs> I'm really hoping this wasn't going to be a joke. Well, believe me, it wasn't. <laughs> what can you do? Uh, last week, uh, ladies and gentlemen, when I uh, uh, broke a tooth and actually cracked out a filling while enjoying freshly popped corn at the cinema... <laughs> I did just exactly what anyone else might do. I screamed like an infant until I was removed by an usher. <laughs> so on Monday, it was off to the dentist to have my mouth put in proper working order. Here now, enjoy that visit with us. How are you today, Mr. Letterman? Good, how are you? Dr. Estrada? Dr. Strata. Strata. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't want no x-rays. No x-rays. No x -ray. There we go. Please, no x-rays. Well, ah! 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 well, 
<laughs> it's gagging me. I, I don't want to gag on my own television show. We leave that to the home viewers. <laughs> Now. Before we do anything else, I want the, you and Rose to see if you can recite the Crest Pledge. Crest has been shown to be an effective decay preventive benefit that can be of significant value. Oh, is that the one? Is it all loaded up and ready to go? All ready to go. Do you think it's safe to have it that close to my face while I'm jumping around here like an orangutan? Is it going to make me sleepy? No, it's not going to make you sleepy. Okay. Because I... <laughs> All right, now this will just be a check to see if the Novocaine is taken. Here we go. Oh, that's too soon. <laughs> I, can't I, can't, I can't feel anything. Let's go. Let's begin the procedure. And uh, do we have the x-rays back? How do those turn out? What do you think? I think it's great. <laughs> How long have you known Dr. Estrada? I've been with Dr. Strata for four years. Yeah. Were you with him on that uh, chip show on NBC? <laughs> Maybe that would be an excellent time to shave. <laughs> Rose, are you keeping bees in the office or something? <laughs> it's like every, every party I attended in college. <laughs> Good. I'll be right down. I'm okay. Where's, where's my day? Where did you go home? Huh? Thank you very much, Rose. Rose, you're a delight. Here, let me get that for you. You have a quarter? Doctor, uh, do you mind if you show us your teeth? You're quite an attractive man, Doctor. I had time to reflect on my life while uh, you were working there on my mouth and uh, curing and uh, screwing and whatever the heck you were doing. And I think the reason I'm having trouble with my teeth now, as a middle-aged man, can be traced back to my days as a circus performer. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. Stay away from bye -bye. the x-ray machine. Bye-bye. I want one of them masks. Oh, it's masks. <laughs> like COVID. I've just come from the dentist. <laughs> Sometimes you can be so stupid. Clock <laughs> for 106 days, you get 700 hours of Olympic programming free. Now, now if you're like me and you have Olympic fever, <laughs> and you and you need more, they have this service for you on your cable system in a pay-per-view channel, three separate channels offering additional Olympic coverage. Isn't that something? Yeah, yeah. And, and if, you, if you're still thinking about making up your mind, because I think now that the, the rates are favorable to you, the consumer, and if you haven't quite made up your mind, it, watch closely. Maybe this will help you decide. Get ready for the most extraordinary offer in television history. Now, in addition to NBC's great Olympic coverage, you can order three cable channels of incredible non-stop Olympic action. 24 hours a day, completely uninterrupted. All your favorite events, more tears, more glory, more excitement. The Olympics triple cast. Call 1-800-OLYMPIC order. That's 1-800-OLYMPIC. The Olympics triple cast. It's an Olympic lover's dream. Those who know our musical director, Paul Schaefer, know that off camera he is an intensely private man. Thus, we uh, couldn't be more delighted and honored last Monday when he shared with us a typical day in his life. Roll it, Hal! I wake up at 8 a.m. Oh, man. And do my morning exercises. Uh, one, two, three, four, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 14, 15, and 16. Silly. With Dave around, my day always starts Look. with a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> they go like that for hours. <laughs> They're not real people. <laughs> the show hires college interns to help me with my work. <laughs> By 1 p.m., 
Hi, I'm starving for lunch. Hi, Mr. Schaefer's expecting you. Go ahead in. At 2.30, Dave and I rehearse. <laughs> and after rehearsal, Dave and I play our favorite game, Where's Paul Doe? Well, oh, that's dated. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Ah, yep, that's it. There he is. I got him. That's yeah. early 90s. <laughs> Then I practice my fake laugh for that <laughs> night's show. <laughs> On the way to the taping, my assistant helps me loosen my fingers. <laughs> After the show is over, Dave and I sign autographs for our many fans. Okay. Yes, yeah, I'll get it. At 7.30, I go home. These are really silly. It's my type of humor. I like... <laughs> and finally... <sighs> Somewhere around midnight, I fall asleep. Midnight, <laughs> and the TDs are sleeping downstairs by the furnace while birdies are weeping. Extraordinary offer in television history. Now, in addition to NBC's great Olympic coverage, you can order three cable channels of incredible non-stop Olympic action. 24 hours a day, completely uninterrupted. All your favorite events, more tears, more glory, more excitement. The Olympics triple cast. Call 1-800-OLYMPIC to order. That's 1-800-OLYMPIC. The Olympics triple cast. It's an Olympic lover's dream. Yes, sir. The Olympic triple cast. Stop it. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, sorry. Just go on with the show. No, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. You know, fine. you can tune that piano during the day, Paul. I'm, you don't need... I'm fine. Is there something wrong with you? Nothing at all. You seem distracted. Just do the show. Fine, I'm fine. You, would you rather not be here? Is that it? Is, is it like... No, no. Is there someplace else, something else you would rather be doing now? Well, uh, to tell you the, the honest truth, there are, there are a couple of things that I would yeah, rather like, be doing. Yeah, like what, for example? Well... <laughs> I'd rather be organizing my Dollywood souvenirs. Yeah. Dollywood. I'd rather be spending time with my 11 illegitimate children. I would rather be sharing a thigh master with Suzanne Summers. I would rather be getting a baboon liver, really, rather than be here. A baboon liver. Huh? I would prefer to be walking the night and feeding on the blood of the living rather than being here. I would rather spend some quality time with my wife, Jane Polly. Oh, by the way, did, did you get that cappuccino machine we sent you? We adored it. Yeah, okay. I good. would rather be doing my Tai Chi naked than uh -huh. being here. I would rather be marketing my new fragrance, Suddenly Paul, uh -huh. than to be here. You know, I would rather be burning ants with my laser vision, or I would rather be getting my name changed legally to Donna, uh -huh. rather than to be here. How about Donna I would Baboon? Rather, <laughs> I would rather be whitewater rafting with Jerry Van Dyke, or shaving the Batman logo into the back of my head, or taking a nap, like everybody else here in this audience right now. <laughs> He's not asleep. That guy right there. He's, he's still awake. That guy. Oh. <laughs> I would rather be drinking shampoo, even though I know it's not to be taken internally. And finally, I would rather be eating my weight in cheese. That would, would that be like Swiss or American? Well, if you must know, Munster cheese. Okay, good, Paul. Well, thank you very much. Sure. I appreciate you taking the time to tell us. Ever wonder what your pet is thinking aside from, gosh, I wish I hadn't been neutered? Well. <laughs> Thanks to the fast-growing field of psychic pet communication, now you can know each intimate thought, desire, and dream of your beloved family pet. 
Earlier this week, I treated late night staffers to a visit with the pet psychic. All right, Lydia, why don't you explain to me and to everybody else uh, who you are and what you are and, and what we're going to do today. Uh, my name is Lydia Hibby, and I do animal communications. If I'm an animal, how do you talk to me? All through in mental pictures. Uh, as you say, nonverbal. That's No correct. chatting, no hello doggy, how's doggy, do you have ticks, do you have fleas? By the way, I have both fleas and ticks. <laughs> this is uh, Debbie Drimmer. Debbie uh, Nigel. Hi, Nigel. He said, I don't want to be flying around. He, he's worried about ceiling fans. Do you have a ceiling mm -hmm. fan in your room? Yep. So he said, I'm very afraid of that. And he said he likes helping you when you do your exercises. So, so the bird, like, holds her feet down when she's no. doing sit-ups? <laughs> let, let me ask the bird a question. Does the name Colonel Sanders mean anything to you? Who's your dog, Claudia? Okay, go nuts Aww. on the dog here. He also mentioned that he thought it would be fun to get dressed up like wearing shorts and he would like to wear a Batman outfit. He thought that would be really cool. He showed me the cape and everything. He thought that would be really cool. I, I think you like may be uh, picking up vibrations from her boyfriend. No. <laughs> you know what the dog told me? Said he would like to eat that bird. Look over there. Over there is the ghost of Lassie. Do you see that? The ghost of Lassie. This is uh, Gerard Mulligan. Hi, what a beautiful kitty. Oh, Hi. Look at the kitty. Um, Who's Felicia? Does that ring any bells to you? Felicia Rashad. Oh, you she would know. <laughs> she from the uh, Cosby Show? That was a oh. wonderful show. Did you notice toward the end of that show, like in the fifth and sixth season, that Bill Cosby just was getting fatter and fatter? Did you notice that? So tell her the, the kitty's name. Rainbow Meow. I'm sorry? Rainbow Meow. Rainbow Beautiful. Meow. Beautiful. She said she's had problems with vaccinations. She said I was very sore after a she shot sore. once. Right. Well, I did it myself. But she said the only thing she dislikes <laughs> is when people think she's a boy cat. That annoys her. She said, but I am definitely a girl. And she would like to have a hot pink collar. Well, then problem. you and your cat have something in common. <laughs> she also talks about having some kind of cream or milk. She's had salmon, too, and she said that was very good. She I like that. Uh, now we know what, what the kitty uh, likes to eat, what the kitty wants to eat. Gerard, what do you like to eat? I like beef. You ever had flank steak? Yeah, I have flank steak. Man, is it tasty. This is our receptionist. Hi, do you, do you take care of the, the office fish? I do, yes. The only real problem with the fish is that these two fish sometimes hang out in the corner and just stare at the wall. I asked them why they're in the corner, and they said sometimes that's just our quiet time. You know, uh, when I started as a receptionist uh, at work, what we used to do at the beginning of the week is just drop a grilled cheese sandwich in the corner, and that they, they were good. fine for like six weeks. Nope. Do you have an apartment or an office you work in? I have in? an office. An office. And y y any given day, there would be owners and their pets. That's not a real rabbit. That's a stuffed rabbit. Sitting out in the waiting room. Yes. What, what, what does that place smell like? Barbara, you brought your little Back pet with us. Yes. Here, I think. What is this? This is a bunny. What's it's Bunny's bunny. name? Bunny's name is Bunny. This like bunny, so. I, I don't like how he looks at me. It's you don't like hostile. how he's kind of hostile. Well, this bunny is he's a happy. Sweetheart. Is there anything you can get from this? He doesn't like the teddy bear you have him next to. Do you have him next to a teddy bear? I don't like no, that No, I have bear. him next to other bunnies. I'm getting something from Bunny. <laughs> really? I'm getting a, a very vivid message from Bunny. Bunny would like to go for a swim. Don't let the fish get him. Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> He's just as good as new now. He's worried about ceiling fans. He would like to wear a Batman outfit. <laughs> Man, is it tasty. That's just our quiet time. Are you actually getting things from these animals? Oh, yeah. Not really alive. <laughs> Those are funny. Oh, gosh. Those are so much fun to do. I really enjoy doing these Letterman clips. <laughs> it's strange because I haven't watched these. I think it was about a, a couple years ago. I transferred a lot of my videotapes to computer files, a, a, a video file, you know. I vaguely remember a lot of these clips, but not entirely. And sometimes some of them really strike me funny. <laughs> I really enjoy going through them. So if you like uh, my reaction and watching these videos with me, give it a like, thumbs up. And if you like the channel, be sure to subscribe. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.